Okay. So today we're going to be working on these lights. And you can see here we have, we probably won't keep these in here. We have two four foot um, fluorescent lights, right? So I recently upgraded to the LED bulbs. And this one over here, you can notice there's a light out. So only one of the bulbs is working. We'll get back to that here in a second. Uh, this one over here is working fine. Um, this one actually, I removed the ballast from this one and that works fine. And that ballast, sorry about the mess, we're still making workbenches. The ballast is right here. And when you order these LED lights, there's two options. Okay, so you get them, they're basically wired different on the inside. When you're replacing the, the lights to LEDs, either you could have them wired if you're gonna take the ballast out, that's one type of LED bulb, and the other type is if you're gonna leave the ballast in. So obviously the ballasts work fine. I wanted to buy the ones you leave the ballast in, and it didn't work fine. It worked fine for about a half an hour. This was so hot, you can't touch it, and it's starting to smoke. So, and the fact of that is that these other lights, even though they're LED, um, this ballast actually has to, I guess, drive those where the old tube, it doesn't have, I don't know, somehow it takes more power with the LED through this. So, but overall, the old style bulbs are a lot more uh, power hungry. So anyway, we have our bulbs here. Let me grab them real quick. Well, we still have no table room. We'll go to the unfinished tables or tabletops for this. So this will end up with a four foot LED tube light, plug and play, okay? Um, this particular one is 18 watt. So, and this one is a 5K. So it should be as close to natural light as we could possibly get. And you really gotta watch that too when you buy these, you could actually buy blue ones, ones that are blue or ones that are warm white, which you don't want that either. Anyhow. So these are Sunco brand. These are from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to try these or if you want to try some that already has the setup for no ballast. And this is how they look. These are now plastic. And you can see the strip of LEDs inside of it, right? They come with little covers on the ends. You just pull those off and that goes into your light fixture. Now... What I was saying before, there's two different types of these bulbs. This bulb is set up like this. One side's a positive, the other side's a negative. Okay? And the bulbs that are set up to run without the ballast are set up like this. It'll have a positive and a negative. And that's the biggest difference. So I didn't exactly know that. I was trying to remove the ballast, wire these up, you know, as uh, positive and negative, and it kept popping the, the breaker. Not the breaker, the power strip we had it plugged into. So let me, let me see here. Let's go ahead and pull that light down. When we fix, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, and actually I made it darker when I take the light out. So we'll try to make it quick. How this one's set up, you know, obviously you just turn the bulbs and you can remove them, right? So we'll go ahead and take these out like so. And all these are gonna be different. Depends on what year these are. This is a pretty old one here. So in the end, there's actually a Phillips screw right here. And there's another one right here. And this whole center lifts out. Okay. And how these are set up, it has these guys, which are, and these called tombstones. 
some people call them tombstones. I'm not sure what they're exactly called for. What you have to watch out for, there's two different types of these. And these usually sit up here, but they pop that one. I took the, the shield off. Okay, that's fine. So we have the power cable coming in over here. So to wire this for these bulbs, you have to do it like this. So we have it, the wires coming in here from the cord, right? There's two wires, actually three wires coming in. The green's the ground, and this one has, well, they're both black. We have one side wired up as the negative or the neutral, and the other side's black, the positive. We just have wire nuts put on here. So how these are wired up, we have the positive comes in here. Make sure you guys can see that. And it goes from the black coming in, the black going out, and that powers up both of these, right? The next one, you can see it has the white or the neutral, comes in. Uh, I got had a patch on the piece in here, but it has two wire caps on it, wire nuts on it, and it goes down all the way to the other side. And it powers up both of these just like that. Okay, now you gotta watch out because some of these tombstones are different than others. This one, they're wired in both of them. I took the one side out, but this one has wires going to each side of it. For a wiring like this, it doesn't really matter because we're gonna use this as a negative side, this as the positive side, right? Now, where it is gonna matter, if you buy the bulbs that are made to be used without the ballast, so how you're gonna to wanna to wire those, you got to wire it positive and negative. Now you can see, this one I already took the wires out. These are, I don't remember what the exact name for it was, but these are actually, what was the deal? These you could actually wire separate. So you can wire them up like that, but some have a little deal inside that jumps them side to side. They only have a wire going in one side. So they have a little bar connecting both sides. If you have those, you may not be able to wire it for not having a ballast. My recommendation to you is I would buy these because since the whole end is positive or negative, it doesn't really matter what your, what your situation is here that'll cause you not to have to go and buy new tombstones that are polarized, okay? I don't know if that makes any sense to you or not. It's a little hard to follow and understand that, but just remember, these are set up. So one end, one whole end, both prongs, is negative. One whole end is positive. Okay, I'll put the link to these in the description on the Amazon store. So, if you guys are gonna do this, you need to set it up just like I have it right here. I'm sorry it's so dark in here, guys. The sun's in at a weird angle. Um, wire one hole end up is positive or negative, and the other one is positive. It doesn't matter which is which. They're not picky. Like there's no, there's no polarization. As long as electricity flows through this bulb, it doesn't matter if you have this end positive or negative or this end positive or negative. But they ought to be wired up the same. I hope that makes sense. I'm probably confusing the hell out of a lot of you guys. I'll try to find a wiring diagram pick to put up on here uh, to clarify it a little bit. It is a little janky the way it's set up in here, but that's how that's set up. And unfortunately on this one, I'll show you real quick what the situation is. This one does not have uh, the ballast in the middle. This has these little end cap things and they're really hard to get apart. That's why I haven't done this one yet. This one may not be as easy to do if it's gonna be a pain in the butt, I might just throw it away, find another fixture that I can swap the bulbs in. And, you know, I don't know. That's kinda of the whole situation. It is what it is. It seems overly confusing. Like I said, I'll put the link to the ones I have in the description and you won't have to buy new tombstones. If you use the other ones, you might have to buy new tombstones. So, just kind of the way it goes. But that's it, guys. Hope this helps.
Thanks for watching. Have a good day.